Our final speaker is an expert in animal nutrition. She is the Applied Nutrition Technologist of Instapro International, a company which developed and patented a high shear dry extrusion process headquartered at Grimes, Iowa, USA. This speaker is Dr. Janeth Colina. Unfortunately, due to the 13 hours difference in time zone, she is unable to attend this webinar. However, she will be represented by Mayette B. Ramos. Please go ahead, Ms. Mayette. Hello everyone. Because of time zone difference of 13 hours, I'm here to present to you the PowerPoint prepared by Dr. Janet Colina regarding feeding broilers with extruded corn and express meal. Before we proceed with the feeding trials, let me give you a brief explanation about cooking or processing corn and soybeans using HTST process. High temperature but short time only of less than 20 seconds. Driven by customer demand, Instapro has developed a processing solution for extruding corn. Extruding corn is difficult to do properly because of its high starch and low oil content. Instapro developed a specialized corn extruder which features one processing chamber. When extruding corn, the high temperature and pressure cause the corn to gelatinize, making the corn come out of the nose cone in a rope-like form. A cutter head at the end of the barrel breaks up the product into corn chips. When corn is extruded, there is more nutrient energy available to the birds. Depends on the price of corn, extruded corn can be used to replace ground corn. Extruded corn has 94.7% gelatinization compared to raw corn of 24.6% gelatinization. Starts gelatinization allows improved activity of starts degrading enzymes. What is express soy meal? You have seen the animation a while ago. And it showed the process from soybean to full fat, then to the mechanical oil press equipment to remove some oil. And you have the product called express soy meal. It has protein of 44 to 46% higher than the protein content of full fat. And then express soy meal contains 6% to 8% oil with highly available amino acids and energy for poultry species. This slide will confirm the best cooking temperature for soybean is 150 to 160 degrees centigrade. According to Crowe, Shang et al., the trypsin inhibitor was reduced to minimum level when soybean is cooked at 150 to 160 degrees centigrade. The same goes for true lysine digestibility and true metabolized energy being higher when soybean is processed at 150 to 160 degrees centigrade. This slide will show you the broiler digestibility trial using solvent extracted soybean meal versus express soy meal conducted by Dr. Parsons at University of Illinois in 2016, where express meal has greater than 90% amino acid digestibility compared to the solvent soybean meal. Also, in the same feeding trials, Express meal has 7.5% higher drier matter plus 589 kilocalorie per kg higher metabolized energy compared to solvent soybean meal. The next slides will show you the results of feeding broilers with extruded corn plus express meal. Now we go to the feeding broilers with extruded corn 
plus express soy meal, a university trial conducted by Dr. Bobek at Iowa State University in 2020. The objective of the trial is to evaluate the growth performance of broilers fed with extruded corn plus express soy meal in comparison with a control diet with solvent soybean meal and ground corn. For dietary treatments, we have treatment one. We use soybean meal plus ground corn and this is the control diet. Then we have treatment two, soybean meal plus extruded corn. Then treatment three, express soy meal plus ground corn. And of course, the treatment for express soy meal plus extruded corn. These are the four experimental diets. As I've said, we have the treatment one, soybean meal plus ground corn. This is the, excuse me, uh, control diet. Then we have the soybean meal plus extruded corn, apple green color. Then we have the yellow, which is express soy meal plus ground corn and the olive green or dark green, which is express meal, so, uh, soy meal plus extruded corn. So um, these are the four experimental diets for broilers that were used in this study. Diets were formulated to meet the nutrient requirements and you will notice that the yellow and the dark green, the diets with express soy meal, it did not include oil blends because the express soy, soy meal contains 6% to 8% residual oil in meal. Now, let's talk about the results. The orange is the control, this one. Um, this is soybean meal plus ground corn. And this one, the apple green, is the treatment to soybean meal plus extruded corn. The yellow is express soy meal plus ground corn. And the dark green is express soy meal plus extruded corn. So uh, the starter broiler diets fed with extruded corn plus express meal showed better feed intake of 440 grams versus the control diet of 387 gra grams. This is the soybean meal plus ground corn. And as we know, it is very important to maximize the feed intake in the initial phase of growth to achieve proper performance. Slide 15 is about the feed conversion ratio. So though broilers fed with soybean meal and then extruded corn, the apple green has improved FCR of 1.45. The growers fed with express soy meal and extruded corn showed a lot better FCR of 1.38, which means that the broilers ate less and gained more weight when fed with express soy meal and extruded corn in this phase of growth. This result can be attributed to the high digestibility of amino acids and metabolized energy of express in conjunction with the highly gelatinized and more digestible extruded corn. This slide is about body weight gain of finishing broilers from 28 days to 42 days. Though broilers fed with solvent soybean meal plus extruded corn posted 3.45% increased in body weight, the broilers fed with express meal plus extruded corn achieved 10.71% increased in body weight. The finisher broilers used the available energy of extruded corn and the digestible amino acids in express soy meal to gain more body weight with respect to the broilers fed with soybean meal plus ground corn. A 
At the end of the study, 42 days, broilers fed with extruded corn plus express soy meal showed higher body weight and reached a market weight of 2.5 kilograms faster than broilers fed with controlled diet of solvent soybean meal plus ground corn. This response is related to the higher feed intake. You have seen that in the initial phase, in the starter phase, and then improved feed conversion in the grower phase and greater daily weight gain aligned with the nutritional benefits of express and extruded corn. So this chart shows the number of days for each group to reach the market weight of 2.5 kilos. Notice that those days are reduced when broilers are fed the dark green with express soy meal plus extruded corn, this one. But when the broilers are fed with both extruded corn and express meal, ingredients that are used in diet, broilers reach the market weight 4.8 days earlier with respect to the control diet. This allows to have more flax per year, facility profitability and less feed needed. Therefore, in conclusions, Feeding broilers with extruded corn plus express soy meal makes nutritional and economic sense. Number one, reduced total feed usage. Number two, improved feed conversion ratio. Number three, uniformity of plaques as observed in this study. And number four, rich market targets uh, sooner. Thank you very much for listening.